happy Christmas in July. And being July, it's watercolor month. So we're going to be using the Fluids watercolor paper and the Hippiest Hippos to make our card tonight. Hi, I'm Joan Heberlein and I created this video for Joan's Simple Paper Crafts found right here on YouTube. If you're new here, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you're a returning guest, welcome back. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. That way you won't miss when I post a video, which is typically once a week. Now give me a few seconds so I can turn the camera down and we can get started. We're here to celebrate watercolor during World Watercolor Month. Now watercoloring isn't my best element. And this is what I came up with on my first shot with a card. And we'll redo this card again tonight. And I'll tell you how to do it. First of all, I have my eight and a half by five and a half inch piece of basic white. And that is actually 14 centimeters by 21.6 centimeters. And then I score it at four and a quarter or 11.4 centimeters. And it's already scored. And we'll just put the card over here and then I have our stamps. And I already did that because this is, I'm going to concentrate on doing the water coloring here. So we've got our boat. I'm just going to glue this together right now. And I'm going to base, use this multi purpose glue, but I'm using it in this needle nose bottle. And this is one of the reasons why I use this bottle because of the tip. It allows me to get into these really small places. And I'm just going to glue that right here for right now. And then next, I think I'm just going to color this I can't really glue anything else until I get that colored. And I use the light smoky slate on the majority of the body. I am going to speed this up. And then I am going to use some dark petal pink for the cheeks and the mouth. As well as the nails. Next, I'm going to use my dark smoky slate and I'm just going to go around the bottom of this, his ear here, bring it down into his jawline. And then into his arm. And then we're going back with the light smoky slate. And I'm bringing it from the dark into the light and just blending it ever so slightly. Okay, then we'll just do his body. I'm going to use the light so saffron
Then we're going to do the dark so saffron and we're just going to blend it on the left side of his body. There's below his chin. Then back to the light. And we're starting in the dark and bringing it out into the light. The next we will do is we'll cut this out using our cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to use the hippo dies for that. And let's see, I have to get it going the right direction. So I'm going to tape this down using our post-it label and cover-up tape. I'll be right back. So let's see how well it did. I'm just going to pull this tape away from there. Yeah, looks pretty good. Then what we need to do is glue all his other pieces on there. And we've already cut them out. We use this for the lifesaver. We use this for the sunglasses. I cut one out in Bermuda Bay, and then I cut one out in basic black to give me the shades. And then we've got the propeller. And I'm gonna to want to do our water splashes. And this is from the previous color, so I'm not going to use this on this piece right here, I don't think. Because I, I want it to be the same shade. We want to glue this one down. Let's glue this one down. And I'm just going to just try to get it just a little bit on here. right over his eyes. Then we'll put his sunglasses on, the sunglass part in there. And I'm going to use my pick, take your pick tool to pick those up. I don't think that's the right I don't think I put them in the right lenses. There we go. Come on, let's get in there. And we will glue him onto the boat. And I am just going to put some glue down here and cover up his painted toes. And then I think we will leave the rest until we get our watercolor base in place. Oh, we can do this yet. So this is the eighth of an inch by two and a quarter inch or 3.2 centimeters by 5.7 centimeters. And I am just going to put a little bit of glue right down here.
I'm going to set everything back up here to dry. Oh, forgot this one can be done too. So let's just do this. Oh, I'll bring it back down here. So next we're going to do is our watercolor. So I have a piece of fluid watercolor and that is five by seven inches or 12.7 centimeters by 17.8 centimeters. And then we're going to use our So Saffron ink and our Pear Pizzazz. and our Tahitian Tide. And I am going to bring in another mat to cover this up. So what we'll do first is we will spray this to get it wet. And I'll move these out of the way because I don't want to get extra moisture on my ink pads. see where the, how wet it was. Then we can bring the ink pads back in. So what we'll do is we'll start with the lighter shade. And that's going to be the So Saffron. And I am just going to start the top here and just smearing it through here. I'll get some more. I am going to spray this just a little bit because it seems to be a little tacky there. Okay, then next we want is our pear pizzazz. I'm just going to wipe this off. I'm going into the pear pizzazz. And I'm going to get a little bit on this side, yeah? Okay, and I think I am going to wipe that off. And then we're going to use the Tahitian Tide. And I am, this doesn't seem to stay wet. There we go. I'm actually wiping the the ink off before I go back in and grab more ink because I don't want to contaminate my ink colors. So I'm just trying to make some swirls more or less for my waves. So this is going to be my blue is the waves.
All right. So I think I can cover these up. I'm going to just wipe this up here. And then we need to let it dry. And what I can do is I can dry it with my heat gun, and I will do that while we're waiting. I think why I don't like watercolors is because you don't have a lot of control over where the color is going. I mean, that's what you want to do is let it do its own thing. So we, we want to cut this down to three and three quarters inches by five inches, and that'll be 9.5 centimeters by 12.7 centimeters. And I am going to take the three and three quarters cut first because I want to have this panel here to use that for my water. Then we're going to use a five inch cut. So what I meant by water, I want to take this piece here and use this die right here to make some waves. So if I put it up here and I cut, cut it right at the edge and that'll give me some waves and I'm going to have to match it here and go on, continue. I cut this down here and then moved it over here and then I'm just going to kind of make this another splash here, fussy cutting it. And then we'll just match this onto here. I don't know if this was meant to be waves, but I liked it. And so that's why I used that for that purpose. And that is part of the hippo dies. So let's start assembling. So we've got our five and a half by eight and a half already scored. So then this needs to be put on here and I'm going to use our stamp and seal to get it on so it'll stay flat. Because of the watercolor, it kind of has a wrinkle to it now. And we want to have the water on the bottom part. So this leaves a yellow toward the top. And we're going to leave a quarter of an inch around the card as a border. And I forgot I wanted to do this first. So I will see if we can just cut that off from here. We have to cut it down to five inches. I'll just take a little bit off of this side. And then cut it at five inches. Didn't look like I had that even there. Okay, so that, that'll work there. So this is our boat. And we'll put the boat right here. Okay, so let's get the boat on there first. Let's see if I can't find my silicone mat again. And I'm going to put glue on the back side of this. And I'm just holding this piece in place because I didn't remember where I wanted to put this.
and that is about where I want it to be. So I'm going to set them down. Then we can glue this down. Well, that worked for forgetting to put it on first that that worked pretty good then we've got our propeller we want to put on and i want to put a little bit of smoky slate on there i don't like them quite so white so i've got our light smoky slate and i'm just going to go around the edges I forgot, I want the middle part to be light smoky slate, and then we'll use the edges with the dark smoky slate. So I really want it to be just the edges. So I am just going to take it. If I can't get that off from there. And then I'm going to use my color lifter just to kind of lighten it up in the center portion. to be lightened too. And I'm going to put this down with glue dots, one behind each propeller. The glue dot is bigger than the propeller, so I am going to have to fold it over. need our water droplets so let's just take this from this section here this is the ba this base here and I cut off there and I think I'm going to do it right from there and I'm going to cut that in our cut and emboss machine so let's just put our Glue. See where I want those to be. All right. So let's put a glue dot right here, or a glue droplet right there. Let's see if I can't pick this up with our take your pick tool
Turn it a little bit. All right, I think we're done. I hope you liked this project as much as I did. I want to show you the card from the celebration catalog. This is the one that I was trying to copy, but I wanted to use the watercolor background paper. As you can see, the two cards look different because of the watercolor effect. If you enjoyed today's video, would you do me two favors? Click the thumbs up emoji. That means you like it. And would you share it on social media with your crafting friends and pin it to Pinterest? These actions will help me to keep sharing my ideas with other crafters for free, and I'd really appreciate that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Just reach out to me. If you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order, or would you like a catalog, Hop over to my website where you'll find the Shop Now button. To shop with me, you'll need to go to joanheberline.stampinup.net. Bear with me a little bit longer because I want to let you know of the promotions going on right now. The July-December 2022 mini catalog is here. Share and celebrate every season of life with the brand new products from the July-December 2022 mini catalog. Find the perfect something for autumn, winter, spring, and every occasion in between. You can find a link to that catalog in the comment section below. It's time for one of the most exciting promotions and parties of the year, Celebration. From July 1st to August 31st, you can earn exclusive free products by shopping, joining, or hosting. Choose a free celebration product with every $50 or $100 you spend, and that's before tax and shipping. Reward yourself by hosting a party. Hosting a party is always fun during celebration. It's even more rewarding. On top of the usual host rewards you can earn toward free and discounted products, there's also no limit to the number of free celebration products you and your guests can earn. Plus, place a party or a personal order over $300, excluding shipping, and you'll also receive the exclusive Perfect Pomegranate stamp set for free. Do what you love. Share your passion for creativity and do more of what you love. Join Stampin' Up! as an independent demonstrator and build a starter kit by selecting $125 in products for only $99. Join now during celebration and we'll throw in the Making the Plans collection for free. It's the perfect resource for allocating your time, building your business, and memory keeping along the way. You can find the link to the celebration brochure in the comments section below. So yes, a lot's going on right now and I hope you pick the perfect bargain for you. Mark your calendars. I'll be back Saturday, July 9th at 7 p.m. Central Time, and we'll be doing something from the new mini catalog. I hope you'll be here to join me. Thanks so much for being here with me tonight. I look forward to next time. Bye for now, and don't forget to subscribe.